Today's show is brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. You see the promo. Actually, you don't see the promo. Now you see the promo, but you more importantly see the logo on top of Deke's head. Safe, secure, reliable, top rated. You know what time it is whenever we are talking DraftKings Sportsbook. But more importantly, for the new customers out there, man, we got special promos for you, man. When you make that first bet of $5, you'll receive $200 in bonus bets, man. It's a dope situation. Just make sure you use the promo code MOTES so that way you'll get everything going the way you need it to go for the opportunity to potentially make some more dough. All right. But we also know that at times you can get lost in the sauce. It happens a lot. And when that does happen, if you're living in New York, there's a number that you can text. But for everybody else, the number to dial is 1-800-GAMBLER. The other thing was the pregame. Uh-oh. How'd you feel? Pregame was fire, bro. They but did I don't know how it showed up on TV. They, bro, it was fire in there. Black uh, out, fire I just, works everywhere. It I was just, it was insane. I thought the energy was different, man. It was Ooh. You saw Russ in the block numbers uh-huh. in the Steeler uniform. He did a little pregame interview with yeah. someone from NBC. And his answers mm-hmm. and how he looked it felt right. What did it feel like? It's it's just not something you could fake. Like it's it's. It felt it, right. Yeah, it was okay. like you have this type of confidence. You have this type of demeanor from being in the league for thirteen years, being no, a nine time Pro Bowl, a Super Bowl. Yeah. Like it's you know the, one of the big things. Or one of the big knocks on Russ is you know he's 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 a phony and this and that. Mm-hmm. But it was just like how he was answering these questions and how confident he was and how like locked in and focused he was for this game. I was like, oh man, mm-hmm. like this. This is just different. It just hits different having Russell Wilson being your starting quarterback than a Justin Fields. No. Again, it's it's not a knock on Justin Fields, but after I was and and I think I can't remember if Collinsworth and Tariko said some of that stuff in the pregame or if it was like early in the game, but there was some other stuff that they were doing with Russell Wilson. I'm like, man, like let's go, man. Like this, it's this Russ. that's the Russ effect. Man. Yeah, this is this is how it's supposed to be when you yeah. when you got a guy. This is how it's supposed to feel. That's the like Russ going effect. into a game. Like you got that confidence. Like you got like no matter what, you're gonna have a chance. Now you got to back it up, and Russ backed it up. That's that, that's the other thing. It was just I was getting that feeling before the game of like, oh, we got a guy. Like, no, nah, that's real. Sh- them showing the clips of Russ like mm-hmm. warming up and stuff. I'm like, yeah, that's all right. That's Russ. Yeah. That's right. I mean, it looks like Russ and everything, but. What's he going to do on the field? And, yeah, he backed it up. Yeah, because, like, when I look at it, man, I think of this is a guy that has been in some of the biggest games. When we talk about the National Football League, we talk about playoffs, we talk about Super Bowls, yep. the biggest stages he's been in them and been in them multiple times and has showed up multiple times. So there is a certain thing that comes with that experience where when he talks about staying neutral the whole time, That is real, but you don't get that without going through those situations hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times, man. You think about how many reps this guy's taking, practice reps he's taking in terms of postseason preparation. So now when you're talking about can you come in here in a quote-unquote big game, Sunday Night Football versus Aaron Rodgers who just got his guy Devontae Adams, it's like for right, it's like, bro, I've prepared to play in a Super Bowl against Peyton Manning. Like, yeah. Tom Brady. Tom Brady, too? Yeah. Him and Rodgers <laughs> already had these like, matchups before in the yeah. NFC for a decade. That dude isn't – he doesn't blink, whereas at times with Justin, that is still what he is trying to acquire, that experience, those reps of being in constant big, big, big scenarios to where it doesn't even matter. His pulse doesn't even move. It's just, all right, next play. That's the thing that we joke about sometimes as athletes and we say why we're a little bit more or we tend to be a lot more common these high pressure situations versus fans because it's like, yo, we've done it so many times that, yo, we know you could come back because we've seen people come back. We've been a part of these comebacks. Whereas if you haven't, it's like, yo, it's not going to feel as comforting. You're not going to feel as like confident. And we've seen that with Mitch, Kenny, Duck, right, where, man, these dudes kind of got a little rattled especially early on when what it didn't go their way it got rocky it got loud in that stadium we've seen multiple quarterbacks get booed up out of that thing have to get pulled because they can't overcome it man and the slow start it's like yo that's when you look at the vet and you say 
because you said it right. You say, yo, it felt like at one point, yo, man, the thought of Phil starts to creep up. I'm sure for Russ, he knows that, man, I can hear these people. I'm sure he also knows that, yeah, they're going to be looking. And obviously, we haven't had the most success right now. But what do we see from Russ? Man, shoot. Even kill. Go ahead and make the next play. And then after that, boom, another one, another one. And that's the part where you say, man, shout out to Russ, man. Shout out to experience yeah. and shout out to this being what you know you were capable of. And that's why you have that confidence to be able to be on the sideline and be actually genuinely happy when another guy makes a play because you know what you're capable of. Russ has made me feel a little bit stupid right now, to be honest. Oh, no. Oh, don't do that. Why? Ah, it's just because the type of stuff that Russ brings to the table is the type of stuff that I really value in my quarterback play for my team. And you've known this since we've started doing the well, podcast. Facts, facts. So just even, just even the, uh, like the, because obviously I said I would rather stick with Fields for this game coming up. Just even the thought of, man, yeah, let's, let's, let's entertain Fields for, for another week because I don't, obviously I wasn't full on Russ is washed right. or anything. He's brings no value to this team. Like Justin Fields, he's, he's the here and now for sure. Guarantee all that stuff because what did I say? If we go with Russ, I get it. Trust me. There's a lot of reasons to go with Russ. If I knew I was getting that, if I knew I was getting this, like it just wouldn't, like it wouldn't have even crossed my he mind. Said, if I knew then, it wouldn't I have even now? crossed my mind to <laughs> stick with Fields. I just, I just didn't know. I, I, I there's nothing wrong with that. Hey, man. I just didn't know. I didn't know if Russ still had it like that. There ain't nothing wrong with that. I, man. I didn't know if the abilities to appreciate because we saw him in preseason a little bit too. Not preseason, preseason, but. The mobility didn't seem like it was there. It didn't, it didn't seem like he was holding up good against his the offensive game. line. They said huh? he was hurt in that game, though. What? They said that his calf wasn't 100% the Bills when he went game. out there. Yeah. They did say that. Really? Yeah. When they say that? After the They fact. said it afterwards, yeah. Either way, I was just, yeah, I was just wondering. Just wondering if the abilities were still there like that, given the whole Broncos situation, him being hurt this year, being out for six weeks. He's getting up there in age. And then the fact we we got to see Fields go four and two, raise his floor, you know, improve a lot from what he was doing in Chicago. If I knew I was getting this right, it just wouldn't have even been a conversation with putting Russ in. It, it would almost have been like if Ben was on the team, or if like an Aaron Rodgers was on the team. It, we're just putting them in. Like it's not even a question. Feel stupid. That's, and that's hey, a good man. thing though. That's it's a good. A, it's thing. a good problem to have, then, man. It's, it's a, a good, good problem thing. to have, man. It's a good problem because. It doesn't get worse from here on out. Absolutely not. Uh, this was supposed to be Russ's worst game. That's what I'm saying. This is supposed to be the game where he's least familiar with the mm-hmm. offense and most rusty. Goes for 260 and three touchdowns. Now, I'm not saying every game's going to be like that. No, but, no, but I'm with you. Yeah. But every game, he should be getting more and more comfortable and more and more back in the swing of things. In a system that should fit him better than what was going on in Denver. How did you feel? Because uh, obviously we know some of the talk – surrounding why they didn't want to put or why we wouldn't want to put Russ in was the O-line isn't going to be able to block well enough. He good. He's going to be he under good. duress. He's old. He can't move like yep, Justin. He moved good. He yeah. moved good. That Not was, as fast as Justin, obviously. I think there's right. some plays that Fields does get with his legs that Russ wasn't able to yesterday. Mm-hmm. But I think we uh, got a huge uptake in the passing game. Mm-hmm. I mean, we were doing a lot more shotgun stuff, and Russ was making his checks and doing all that stuff yeah. at the line. So, I mean, yeah, that's I guess that's the trade-off. Yeah. And it didn't feel like from a running game standpoint overall we uh, got any yeah, worse. I think it, it. I think it stayed the same. Now, maybe in the first two and a half, three quarters, I was thinking to myself, yeah, I think our run game will be better with fields, but then mm-hmm. you see how we finished the game. Right. I think I, a buck Naj, 40, a buck 50. Naj looked real good, man. I'll take that from yeah. a running game standpoint, game in and game out. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. And then if Russ can continue to give us that in the passing game, we got a team, man. Like, I, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, and this is what I was saying at the beginning. We're exactly where we need to be. We're five and two. I feel like we got a guy at quarterback. Like, we got our answer. Like, that's all I need to see. That's literally all I need to see yeah. because Russell Wilson is Russell Wilson. Like, that, that stuff, the intangibles, the, the moxie, mm-hmm. the heart of a champion, like, that doesn't go away. I would agree. The abilities can depreciate over time with I the greats. Agree. And that's when you see a Peyton Manning and a Drew Brees barely being able to throw the ball. Like, that's when. Mm-hmm. The talent and the skills don't match up to still what you have inside. Right. But I think Russ still got it both ways right now. Yeah. 
So, yeah, that's all I need to see. I, it, right. It's not going to take me much convincing that Russ yeah. still got it. That's all I need to see. I respect. And I'm sure the, the receivers, man, tight ends, like you look at how many guys caught multiple passes in, the yardage that these guys were going for as well. It looks like they kind of appreciated it as well. We man. got it to the right guys. We got it to the guys that we've been Everybody complaining about, about that it. we need to get Darnell the ball Darnell Washington, Pat Fire move, GP, Calvin Austin, Van Jefferson, right? Yeah, I mean, we don't need to get him the ball, but it, he it, got the touchdown. It, I'm saying it, like... It was we, off of a check, too. You those see first it, it four was, names you mentioned, we've been saying, we got to get these guys no, the ball no, more. I would agree with we you. We haven't brought up Van Jefferson saying, I, in that The reason why I brought up Van was more so because I look at Van and I say... How many guys have talked bad about our receiving group? I know I've talked, you know, more so about wanting more out of them and thinking that they could be more productive. But at the same time, you also have to produce when those opportunities come to you. And I thought, man, for Calvin, I know I've talked about, yo, do we need to bring in another guy? Because the production hasn't always been there. Now, is it because he wasn't getting looks or is he just not good enough to be a number two? Still big play, right? When I think of uh, Darnell, Darnell, I mean, we're joking about the whole blocking tight end thing because he doesn't get targets. But you see, all right, I can feed I like you a little bit more. Offs. Yeah, he did that. Th- at throws a lot. that we wouldn't even think of because the mindset is is either deep pass or run. It was like, yo, that adds up, and making those DBs have to tackle him, man. Russ could have hit that deep pass on the second play, huh? Instead of the dump off to Washington, I'm just, am I wrong? I'm just saying, like, am I wrong? He, yeah, yeah, he hey, just it, needed to take the it, layup. It, it was a second play, man. Look, look, <laughs> second play. If you just, I saw that dude <laughs> wide open. I'm like, man, this is the second play. It's the second play, man. Just, 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 hey, get 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 you a good, get a feel good one in, man. Sometimes you need a feel good one, man. Just, I need to see it go in. All right, we're good now. Yeah, we but, got a squad. Where I mean, we're yeah. I, I'm really confident can, in where can, we're can at. 